So in this video, we'll be trying to generate a periodic noise by using the following script. So S is equal to size of A, which gives two indices, the rows and columns. And based on these two rows and columns, because S of 1 indicate the rows and S of 2 is indicate the columns. Based on that, we are going to create mesh grid. Then the P, which is nothing but a sinusoidal value, whose x and y is obtained by the, L, the mesh grid equation. Already we have explained. Then after that, the periodic signal, which is the sinusoidal signal, which is uh, scaled by 1 by 3, that value will be added to the image, the original image. But since the image format is unsigned in int, we have to change that format to double by using im to double. And uh, this value will be stored in a location B. And if you try to display B, and that will be the image that is added with the periodic noise. So you can find that this is the, the resultant image. In this image, a particular periodic signal is added to the image. And the period or the frequency of such an image that can be varied by changing these values. So instead of x by 10 and y by 10, I'm going to use x by 2 and y by 2. The period become short period as shown in the figure. And we can also do some scale functions here. And this scale functions will affect the, the intensity of the image. So we can have different uh, intensity by changing this particular value p by 2 and we can change the frequency by changing the value the, the, the scalar which is going to be divided you know, in this particular equation. So here we'll try to display the FFT of an image with periodic noise. So in the previous case, we found that B is the image with noise, periodic noise. We try to find out the F of T of the same signal, F of T, B of is equal to F of T, 2 of B. Then we will shift the, the DC value to the center and we will try to display the value, I mean the uh, output image, which is supposed to be figure, figure number 6. We run the program, we will find the following output. So this is the image with periodic noise and this is the corresponding Fourier spectrum. So this indicates the DC value and this two spots that indicate the presence of the periodic noise. And if you try to change the period, you can also see that this point will be you know, will be relocated. So in this uh, case, the period become it's become uh, wider period, so the frequencies become less, and the corresponding thing that happened in the uh, F of T as well. These the points become closer to the DC points. So here I have uh, used the periodic signal x plus y plus one. And the corresponding change you can see on the display. This is the resultant image, and this is a corresponding spectrum. So this is the DC point, and these two indi points indicate the periodic frequency or the noise frequency. So now let us try to identify the coordinates of these frequencies which we want to reject or reduce. So this this is a noise. This is the average value, which is exactly located now middle of the image. While this point is a noisy point, which is 176 by 176, with an absolute value of 0 0.87, and this is 339 by 300 or 340 by 340, with an intensity of or the absolute value of something like point. 0.87. So 